All right, it's uh, Friday as we're recording this, and Brazil won at lunchtime, finally got a victory in this World Cup against Costa Rica. It took them a while to get going. In fact, it took them to injury time, and then they scored two. 2-0 two win. Neymar got the second one after Coutinho got his second of the tournament. Um, one of the big talking points, it seems like, for most people coming out of that game, though, was just how annoying Neymar was. So rather than any serious analysis of that game, the first question I have for you gentlemen is this. Who is more annoying, Neymar or Ronaldo? Tom. Pepe. Yes. Pepe. Yeah. Pepe. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, trick question. Okay. The fact that he just got touched on his shoulder the other day, he's been pathetic for mm. apps. So many, he's such a good footballer in terms of being a defender for years for Real Madrid and now Besiktas and, and Portugal. The fact, he's, he's, he's like six foot four and he's built like a brick shithouse. And for him just to get touched on the shoulder and to go down crying, it's just more of a, in terms of like a gender politics, it's embarrassing as like a, in terms of masculinity, really. Wow. Can I just say, all right, all right, leaving, academic, leaving, yeah. that, leaving that weird statement aside, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say, there has to be some kind of like in the middle, because I was watching England. What, head with Pepe? No, wait, in the You end. cannot stand right. up for him. In England, Tunisia, yeah. okay? We got so this is a segue. Oh, we got Harry Kane got wrestled down multiple times. He did. Okay? And nobody in, nobody yeah. complained. Not even Harry Kane. He got back up and carried on. Did we get a penalty? I no. Okay, does Pepe get stuff going his way? Yes. We need like you you play the game, don't you? At the end like um huh? Donald, you you play the so game. So you're saying Harry Kane should complain. <laughs> you're saying he should complain. Yes. I guess I because guess you've kinda got a point in like the Ronaldo against Spain that first penalty yeah you go uh, down the leg's there and he's deliberately taking yeah, it on that Pepe's a totally different this. story no, absolutely mm -hmm. I'm not backing him up in any way because Pepe is the biggest tosser in yeah, world, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But you can second, take it too far in the question but you should go down Ronaldo and Neymar Neymar yeah. Neymar is an absolute <laughs> little rat I'm sorry Why? what's he done that, what's he done that's oh, annoyed you like it, it was the thing with the ref the ref's like just talking to him just yeah. like this and he's like don't touch me yeah, well, he's worth a lot. He's probably in no, short. Don't anymore. touch me. He's probably his his arm is probably. Hey, after the world lo last World Cup, I'm I'm I'll sorry. He's staying he's away just, from all the challenges. He thinks he's like a genius, and oh, I just hmm. humility is such an important thing, and he hasn't got an ounce of it. And how little kids looking at that can grow up and think I want to be like Neymar Neymar well, that, that, I think that's part of the issue like football is like viewed different ways like obviously across mm. the world like South Americans are often view like a player as being clever if he can trick the referee into like having fouls and that sort of thing so yeah. in terms of like his background handballing sort of, the goal into the goal knocking England out in the quarter final it's, it's that sort of biting thing. I, I think we have a lot more yeah. moral standards in terms of that <laughs> we've been on the wrong end of it but I think if, if in case of like 20 uh, 2018, the year that would, yeah. if like Ali put the ball in with his hand and got away with it, I think we'd immediately like be on the other well, side. He wouldn't say, do that, Dillery. Yeah, he's like Michael Owen's massive. But Ali would probably just just punch someone in the stomach and then we get away with it, or he stick his finger up like Carl Walker. I thought you were talking about me for a minute. He's just like, oh, I'm doing anything of the stuff. There we go. He's just a little scamp. Yeah, isn't he? I know he's harmless. He's lovable. He's harmless. I know you're playing their arguments. Um, right, let's talk more seriously about Brazil, if we can. They, yeah. they, I mean, they won. Yeah, big it wasn't great. I'm going to say this for like the fifth time tonight. Yeah. Big teams are going to step up. Is it going to do? Is it going to probably win a World Cup because that's one of their favourites? No, well, they they're, 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 they're like um, absolutely incredible. But okay? I, to be fair, I, did, I switched it on. Uh, I was at work, so I had to be a little bit careful. But I switched it on <laughs> start of the second half and saw about four or five minutes towards the start of the second half. And in the four minutes I saw when I first turned it on, Brazil could have had five goals. Yeah, yeah. Right. They're, 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 like, they're, they were pretty basic for a lot of the match. They, they turned it on at the end, admittedly. Yeah. But like injury time, when you're one 0 up. It's mm. a lot easier for Neymar to do a rainbow flick over someone in the corner yeah. than to do it. Which was more. cool. <laughs> it was cool, but it didn't yeah. make up for what had gone before. No. Well, the penalty appeal. Um, oh, uh, well, then, that referee yeah. today was outstanding in terms yeah. of his like, yeah. like uh, demanding. I can't even think of the bloody name. Commanding yeah. the game and that sort of thing. He didn't know shit off like Neymar and that. Yeah. Sort of I mean, it's still a tight group. So Brazil four points. You got Switzerland with Shakiri and his pubes on on uh, four points as well. You got Costa Rica out. Serbia three points. So you're right, Tom. <laughs> uh, I, you I, didn't see it. I, I missed the Switzerland game. I was out for some work drinks, but you know, I, I'm quite <laughs> glad that I missed out with Shakiri, his massive thighs and his yeah. pubes. Uh, Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland possibly look like they're most likely to go through because they're playing Costa Rica. 
Um, but they're probably very indifferent going through. Why? Very neutral. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. Are, you are firing They've out the, the, uh, uh, the, the political history well, today. Today, we might get around to it. Croatia, dark horses for the tournament, surely. Yeah, okay. Their midfield combination, Luka Modric. Why did you ever let him go from Spurs? I don't know. That's a very good question. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we're, we're way off topic. The whistle's gone. We were talking about Croatia when we should be talking about Brazil. It's all gone to pot. Let us know who you think, uh, or sorry, how far you think Brazil will go in this tournament. And is Neymar more annoying than Ronaldo or indeed Pepe? Give us your thoughts. He's a little brown. Neymar. Pepe. Pepe.